Hypertrophic cardiomyopathy is a complex heart disease in which the heart muscle becomes abnormally thick. The thickened heart muscle can cause stiffness of the heart and make it harder for it to pump blood. Up to 500,000 people are affected in the U.S., with children under age 12 accounting for less than 10% of all cases. Hypertrophic cardiomyopathy is caused by defect in some of the genes that govern production of heart muscle proteins. Due to the genetic defect, abnormal growth of heart muscle occurs, making it disproportionately thick. Hypertrophic cardiomyopathy can develop over time because of high blood pressure or aging. Certain medical conditions can also cause this condition, such as Fabry disease and Friedrich's ataxia. Many patients are asymptomatic or mildly symptomatic, and those who suffer with clinically detectable disease may suffer with shortness of breath, tiredness, leg swelling, exertional chest pain, uncomfortable awareness of the heartbeat, lightheadedness, and fainting. Shortness of breath is mainly due to increased stiffness of the left ventricle, which impairs its relaxation during filling of blood, which leads to back pressure and congestion in the lungs. Many patients are at risk of developing adverse complications, such as heart failure, stroke, infections of the heart valves, arrhythmia, and sudden cardiac death. Diagnosis of hypertrophic cardiomyopathy is usually a straightforward one. The condition is diagnosed based on the review of symptoms, careful physical exam, ECG, and echocardiogram. Additional tests may include blood tests, chest x-ray, exercise stress test, cardiac catheterization, thoracic CT scan, and MRI. The main aim of hypertrophic cardiomyopathy treatment is to relieve symptoms and minimize the chances of sudden cardiac death in people at high risk. Beta blockers and calcium channel blockers have a role in relaxing the heart muscle and optimizing the heart rate so that the efficient pumping can be achieved. In case of coexisting atrial fibrillation, blood thinners are prescribed to reduce the risk of blood clots. Surgical management of HCM includes septal myectomy in which part of the thickened, overgrown septum between the ventricles is removed. Depending on the location of the thickened heart muscle to be removed, septal myectomy can be done using different approaches. Septal ablation is another procedure in which a portion of the thickened muscle is destroyed by injecting alcohol into the artery that supplies blood to that muscle. In case of hypertrophic cardiomyopathy with life-threatening heart rhythm disorders or risk of sudden cardiac death, implantable cardioverter defibrillator is recommended. This device is small in size, implanted in the chest, and continuously monitors the heartbeat. It also delivers calibrated electrical shocks to restore a normal heart rhythm in case of arrhythmia. Heart transplant may be reserved only for those patients who do not improve with any other measure. Studies have indicated a 7-year survival rate of 94% in these patients after heart transplantation. To reduce the risk of complications, it is recommended to lead an active lifestyle, maintain a healthy weight, cut down on alcohol, eat a healthy diet, and keep regular medical appointments. To cope with a condition, one must find ways to reduce stress levels and get support from the friends and family. For more information about hypertrophic cardiomyopathy, list of expert doctors, hospitals, and ongoing clinical trials, please visit www.expertdocs.com.